Hello and welcome to day two of Team of the Season, Premier League Team of the Season and Barclays Women's Super League Team of the Season and currently a mixed team that's in packs featuring players like uh, St. Juiced, Nani, Kante, etc. etc. And there's also a load of moments, cards out and about available in packs should you be lucky enough to get them. We're checking today. Oh, there you go. There's some of the cards on the on the right. Di Maria, uh, Zellum, and Harland. So we're logging in today just to see what they've added in the second day of uh, this promo. Uh, we're currently watching a bit of this. Got to open in another tab. So that's a couple of more players added in. Um, do we have anything new here? We are working our way towards Douglas Louise. We will do the daily play. And the daily login and the daily place, all this kind of stuff that was introduced yesterday. That's fine. Um, there's nothing new here either. The daily objectives have refreshed. The um, lounge cup, we haven't even looked at yet. And Air Max Home is a thing to buy in the store to get more XP quicker. So we're going to ignore that for the time being. Um, so, Milestones, Football Shirt Friday, we started the other day just by scoring goals and playing games. So that's very straightforward to do. You'll do that without even trying. And that looks like <laughs> nothing new in the playable section. So let's refresh our transfer list. So basically, yesterday I opened all the packs that I had saved apart from the Efix one, which makes sense to keep them until there are um, the best of... Uh, team of season in uh, packs because currently we just have the Premier League, the Women's Super League and the mixed one so it made sense to keep them, I know it's a little annoying having loads of packs there but it does kind of make sense, um, we packed a couple more team of the seasons while I was opening various bits and pieces uh, we'll keep him there, he might be useful um, we packed a couple more. Nothing outrageous. Um, got the Mallard card, which looks good. Um, and the Greenwood card that looks good. Uh, but nothing major beyond that. That's something new. We have a Martin Odegaard that's new, which we'll look at straight after the daily login, which we always like to get done with an off-league, low-rated bronze straight away. Always a good thing. That is more players and possibly XP and whatever it is for that. And it's very easy and very cheap to do. So, players section. We have a new Martin Odegaard. 94 rated. Three play styles. Five star skill moves. High attacking work rate. Centre midfield or cam, which we would expect. It is a very nice card. As you would expect, he's been one of the standout players for the last couple of Premier League seasons. Lots of passing styles, a couple of shooting ones, a couple of ball controls and a physical. So yeah, that's what you'd expect from him. It's an accurate representation of his him in a game. The dribbling, really good. The dribbling and passing, there's nothing below 90. That's really solid. The stamina is good. He's not the strongest, but he's definitely got uh, that element to his game. Shooting is decent and pace is good as well. You could argue a Hunter on this. You could argue a Hawk on this. You could argue Engine would be a bit of a waste. But yeah, there are options there. If you want to go defensively, even something like a Backbone would be good. Or an Anchor. There are options. It's a good card. And 94, you can't really go wrong. The base stats are there and strong enough to give you whatever base you want to put the card on top of. Um, because we've opened a lot of packs, we've also completed a lot of SPCs. We've nearly done Alvarez, got one more segment there. Um, and then we've finished Havertz, we did Enrique, uh, we did Udal, we did McCabe, we did Toure, we did Ramirez and Silva and Zagova. Yeah, so got lots of players done, which is good, which is loads of fodder from packs, which is the one of the benefits of saving up packs in the in your in your store, when you open them, you've got a whole lot of spare cards and further duplicates and whatnot to put in other things. So what upgrades do we have today? Um, we still got the eighty plus player pick. We still got the team of the week going on there. Mixed leaps or normal these we've got eighty four by seven, 
Now, three of these every day for six days is going to be good. But what is the price point? We're an 83 with a team of the week. That's that's solid. We can do that. Oops. Um, what low team of the weeks have we got? I'll get rid of Sabi. I want to keep some of the others. We might use Vazir. Might use Rafa Di Bernardo, I reckon. I want to keep the other ones because I'm always t kind of tempted to keep them because they they they'd be potentially very good for uh, for evolutions, which we'll go and have a look at in a short while, because I know people will be wondering about what evolutions we've got today. Right, we've got an eighty three rated squad to get here, so let's minimise that down to gold rares. Uh, we'll put a Kanji in, put Masrawi, a Serbi, clicky, click, a uh, Ramsdale. We'll put these guys in just in case and then we'll try and up it afterwards. It feels like it's running a little slow. Maybe that's me, maybe that's the servers because there's... With team of the season, you always get increased traffic. You always get more people logging in, so it's just the way it is. The gameplay was affected last night, I noticed as well. Just seemed like things were running a little slower than they normally do. But that's what it is. You know what you're getting. Um, we'll put Ginter there as well, because I swear Ginter came out in every pack I opened last night. There was a Ginter in there. Just every pack. It felt like... Opened it, face guard, Ginter. Open it, scan through the players, there's a Ginter just hiding around the corner. But, yeah, it was useful for the SPCs, for the player squads and all that kind of stuff, but it was a little annoying when I wanted to see higher rated cards in there. So, we got an 84 by 7 to open at the end. What else do we have over here? 83 by 7. Ooh, okay, that could be good. Repeat every two days. So there's only three of these in total. 85 and 85. No wonder that's more expensive. But you're getting seven cards out of it. Meh. Oh, and they've... They've moved these in line. So these are now three times a day. Sorry, yeah, three times every day. Is one gold, isn't it? Yeah, one... Sorry, one bronze. So they were, these were two, and they used to kick in at seven. They're now three a day, and they kick in at six. And you've still got four of these. So you've got more supply for the same amount of goals, which is good. Which is good. It's a good little change there. I don't know why they keep the normal silver, gold, and bronze upgrades there when they've got the premiums and they've got the even better ones. But it is what it is. So that's good. We got two, So we got the two new upgrades today, and... Team of the Season Challenge over here as normal. <coughs> Excuse me. Do we have any icons today? Um, Czech and Ferdinand have been the latest. Do we have any that are still yet untouched completion-wise? No. And last but not least, actually, let's check the store. Actually, let's get rid of this objective. Then we'll go to the store, and then we'll go to the Evo. Let's check if there is one of them. Uh... So this gives us an 82 by 2 today. There we go, joining in. So we've got an we've got one of the big packs that we just completed the SPC for in store. And then yeah, we'll check the Evos just to see if there's anything new in there. There was rumours that there was gonna be one today, so that's why I'm leaving it till last. So let's Oh what have we got? Oh the Iglesias. So yeah, that's why I'm leaving it till last because there was a lot of talk on Twitter about a new one being released so I thought I might as well leave it till there if there is a one I'm gonna look silly and it's just gonna be the end of the video from there but if there is there should be something there that's good Parejo is nice La Celso is common and gonna go so we can open this last pack so it should be an 84 plus by 7 it should be hiding around here oh no we've got this as well oh yeah that's the reward from the actual objective French Tushmeni? No, I wouldn't have guessed that. Right, 84 by 7, then upgrade. Uh, Evo, sorry. Right, scan across. Where are we? There we go. 
84 by 7. What are we going to get out of this? Will we get a team of the season? Please be a blue flare. Yeah, come on. French centre back? Renard. So it's a double, it's a doubly thing. Who have we got on the other side? Oh, Hernandez. I think I've got four or five Hernandezes. Him and Fleming, the Man City goalkeeper, are coming out like clockwork. Regular as. So we've got a Cucho Hernandez, we've got a Madison, and there's the Tushimeni that I predicted in the previous pack. So we'll get rid of those in the other um, upgrades. So let's have a look at the Evos. What do we have? So fullback swap is still there, nine days on that. Nuclear defender still 13 days. Moment of truth, 17 days. Oh, this is the new one. Team of the season plus protector. Choose a player ready for an increased chemistry of team of season plus and their new abilities with ping pass plus and jockey plus. So they get play, pace one, shooting two, passing two, dribbling two, physical two. So everything apart from defending goes up with the first one. Then they get a dribbling, defending and physical boost with tick attacker and ping pass plus. And then they get the pace two, passing three, defending two, and the slide tackle, and the jockey plus. So it's suited to a defensive-minded player. Hasn't got any positional um, specifications on it. Ooh, McCongo, I was considering for, what's it called? The defensive midfielder one. But that's pretty good. 90s, 90s, 90s. What I saw there and what will be good is that Fleming card at the bottom. Balak is also available. He only gets the 190 based overall because his agility and balance is so rubbish to start with. But that Fleming card... Now, she's got shocking physicals, but everything else is quite even... And quite good. And she can't volley the ball to save her life. But she's got four passing play styles. And some other ones. So let's see. See that? That's almost... Oh, so she's already got the same one there. Okay. So the per passing is perfect. The vision is good. The shooting is nice. The dribbling is really good. The defending is good. The physicals are not. However, that can be fixed with a play style, um, with a chemistry card. That Fleming could be very tempting to do, to be honest. It's going to be a strong contender. And then we've got defensive options like Gomez, like Bisek. So Gomez starts at 86 pace. Yeah, still lacking in stamina a bit there, aren't we? But other than that, very good. Do we have any on the second page which are going to be useful? So they're going to be a whole load of... Oh, we've got Orsic. A whole load of low-rated icons as well. Petit, Jabilonzo, Rijkaard, Lampard, Makaleli, along with my Balak and Seedorf would be an option for this. Who else is... That Ivan Martin could be good. The reactions and composure are a little low as well. Let's just check this one more. This Orsic. Whether there is a big advantage to Evo in cards you've already Evoed. Oops, where did that go? Orsic. Is a. Mm, isn't as good as I would have thought. And the play styles don't help massively. Maybe it's just not suited to a striker. Maybe we just need the right kind of defensive-minded card for this. I'll have a look online to see which are like the best options. And then see which one. I've already got, I've got two best eggs. Yeah, there will be lots of options. And obviously, like I say, chaining an Evo, maybe combining this one with another Evolution on a lower card 
is a good way to go and we are building up a whole lot of evolutions here waiting to um, put them together and see what we've got but yeah that's all that we've got for today we've opened an 84 by 7 I've got some cards in stock to go and find out where I'm going to put them in an SPC and yeah I wish you well thank you very much for clicking on this video do appreciate that um, good luck with your picks with your packs and with your play tonight and I will speak to you this time tomorrow and we'll see what Sunday has brought brung brought has brought yeah <laughs> um, and whether we have uh, a mini release whether we have a new um, SPC objective that kind of thing we'll see how team of the season changes from there um, yeah so until then I wish you well thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you tomorrow bye bye for now bye bye